Hi, this is Michael from MCAT Mastery, and today I will be speaking about how to prepare and study for the MCAT with a learning disability. A little bit about me, I was diagnosed with a learning disability and Tourette syndrome right before high school. If you do not know, Tourette syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by very movements and sounds that are uncontrollable, and these are called tics. For me, studying was very difficult not just for the MCAT, but all throughout college. I had challenges with um, attention, focusing over a long or sometimes even short period of time. And I found that I really learned things at a different speed and a different way. Uh, I really felt ashamed about this. I felt ashamed that I had to learn things in a different way. I felt ashamed for having testing accommodations and I just felt ashamed for being different. And a point that I really wanna make and I wanna let you know is that it's okay to be a little different. It's not a bad thing that we are different. It's not bad that we're learning in a different way. All that that means is that we're learning differently and that is okay. Whatever works for you is the most important thing at the end of the day. And I want you to know that you are not alone in this process. Me, as well as everyone else at the MCAT Mastery team and so many individuals out there go through studying for the MCAT with a learning disability and have succeeded. And I know how challenging it can be. I know the MCAT is already difficult and adding a layer of obstacles and challenges make it a little bit harder. But I want you to know that I'm here to support you and I've compiled a few tips and strategies that helped me along the way. So firstly, what resources are available to you? If you're still in school, something that helped me a lot was using the Disability Resource Center at my school. And I know that depending on where you are right now, if you're working or if you're not associated with a university that has a disability center, this may not apply to you. However, I want you to know that if you do have a disability resource center near you, I highly recommend taking advantage of what they have to offer. I met with specialists and teachers uh, from the Disability Resource Center that helped me develop a plan for uh, academic success all throughout college. Additionally, potentially seeking out an evaluation from a psychologist or a specialist in learning and learning differences might provide you support and resources to help you understand not just that you have a learning difference or a learning disability, to know specifically what might help. Additionally, um, seeking an evaluation from a psychologist and learning specialist is going to be necessary for applying to take the MCAT with testing accommodations, which we do have a video that can, you can view at the link below for more details. Lastly, something that really helped me, and I think this is very helpful for people who might not have access to a professional or to a resource center like I mentioned before, and this is online communities. For me, I found um, through a online community with the Threat Association of America, I found a few friends that had studied for the MCAT uh, with Tourette syndrome. And that was great for community building and that was great for solidarity. I think while there's a lot of tips that I can share generally, sometimes there's some advice that is really specific to your specific situation and what you struggle with. For that, I find that finding peers that have been what you're, you are going through can be incredibly helpful. And I think that these online communities are a great way to connect with individuals who have dealt with your struggles and dealt with your challenges and know specific strategies to help you get through them. The most important thing for me was reflecting and identifying your strengths and your weaknesses as a learner. Ask yourself, what do you struggle with? Is it attention? I know for me, I had a really hard time with attention. Is it that you don't process things right away in the first time? Um, do you have a hard time focusing in long periods of times or short period of times, or maybe specific settings, or maybe have difficulty with reading or with numbers or whatever it may be. Whatever it may be, my advice to you is to really pinpoint what is it that you're good at and bad at. For me, I was very strong at visually looking at diagrams and then rewriting it down. I found that was a great way to get things stick. And I was maybe not so good at just listening to videos passively. However, that might work.
for someone else. I also realized that I was very strong at articulating concepts to people. And when I articulated concepts verbally, as opposed to simply writing notes, I did much, much, much better. And I found that once you figure out who you are as a learner um, and what works for you and what doesn't, you're then able to develop a good plan moving forward. So once you know your strengths and weaknesses as a learner, through a lot of self-reflection um, and maybe discussion with a professional, it's time to make a plan. And this plan needs to be very specific to your individual need. The main point I want to bring in here is to not avoid, is, is to avoid comparison. Avoid trying to compare yourself to other people, even if they also have a similar um, disability and challenges to you. I know I mentioned that specific peers might be able to help you with your own challenges, but at the end of the day, we are our own people. We are our own unique individual human being with our own specific needs. We do have a video available on how to avoid comparisons that goes into much more detail than that. But the main point I wanted to drive home is to not be afraid if your specific plan is different from your peers. When I was starting for the MCAT, since I was testing over multiple days, the practice schedule, the practice test schedule that I had was much different from my peers. And the amount of tests I was taking per week and when I started was very different. And I had to remind myself that that's okay because I am on my own time. And remember that at the end of the day, we need to find strategies and a plan that works for us. And there's nothing wrong with our plan being just a little bit different. If it works for you, it works for you. And ultimately, we just want to all succeed on the MCAT. And who cares if that's just a little bit different from our peers. Lastly, trust yourself. You know yourself best. Like I said, Put in a lot of time to really learn who you are as a learner, your, your strengths, your weaknesses, and your areas for uh, growth and improvement. And know that there's nothing wrong with learning differently. There's nothing wrong with having a different pen. There's nothing wrong with taking a little bit more time or maybe needing to take a little bit more breaks than someone else. If it works for you, then I'm happy that you were able to find those strategies and know that that's okay, even if it's just a little bit different. Lastly, I want you to know, like I mentioned earlier, that you are not alone. Myself, as well as everyone at the MCAT Mastery team, is here to support you. The MCAT Mastery tutors have experience working one-on-one -on -one, uh, with individuals and students just like you who might have struggled with anything of the MCAT related to preparing with a learning disability, whether that's help with uh, accommodations, maybe specific challenges to reading, math, numbers, whatever it is, we're here to help you. Lastly, I highly recommend signing up for the email newsletters. For me, during my prep, I found that the email newsletters, which sent success stories and stories of people who overcame um, difficult, difficult challenges and obstacles in the MCAT journey, I found that these were very helpful to show me an inspiring, inspiring story of someone who made it. For me, a lot of the times, I had a hard time envisioning that I could ever get over that hill. I could ever get past that roadblock. And by reading every single day or every few days about people just like me, my age and similar stages of life who had experienced similar struggles and got through it, reading that and seeing that in videos, format and everything really helped me a lot. So I want you to know that you are not alone and that everyone here in the team supports you. Take care and good luck with your MCAT journey.